All right, hello and welcome. I'm Internet Celebrity Bradford. This is the second series of Master of Magic. And as a respecter of the democratic process... Oh, good. Let me look at this first. Oh, you can... Oh, I, yeah, you can, you can change how many book slash skills you get. I didn't really notice that. Uh, okay, I'm going to dial this down a little bit. Uh, I'm mostly concerned about the size... Neutral Army Advanced was fine. Oh, they can, they can get better. Oh. Interesting. Okay. This is interesting as well. Uh, the, the new events were good. So I don't really want to... I don't really know what original updated means. I guess I do. The same ones, only with some changes rather than... And no new ones. But I'm not going to be doing that. Right, not gonna worry about that. World size. Did I move it up to large last time? I must have, right? I didn't. I don't think, because I think it. I think it sticks with how it was. All right, I'm going. I'm pressing back real fast. All right, it remembered there, right? It remembered that I switched the AI wizards down to three, so it must have remembered that as well. That makes it harder. Yeah, fair enough. Initial economy normal seems... Well, what are the, what are the choices here? Let, let me do it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Add starting here. What's the choices here? You got Bashan the Dervis, but nobody else? Okay, weird. I think that was too many. Average. Many was too many neutral towns. I did not like that very much. And it, this will make it less likely that there's high men town around. I am, am planning to avoid getting... Uh, I'm, I'm below normal. I don't really care about that. I'm avoiding doing paladins because, yeah, I, that, I just let those carry me the whole time. Right. And as the people... Oh, let, one thing I wanted to check was, is Ariel inherently Mirin now? No. Okay. So what that tells me is that any wizard can be Mirin, and they just lose two books, which is pretty harsh. Uh, not not Merlin. He's old and gross. I mean, Goat slash Bison is a good guy. We'll be creep alley here. Typing, please work. And what I'm gonna do? All right, do Mirren because I'm supposed to be uh, dark elves and chaos magic. Let's do all chaos magic. I have always felt that I mean, sorcery, I think, is by far the best. Chaos gives a nice early game advantage. Maybe I think that might be blunted somewhat by your inability to cast spells and how much they hurt things, but we'll see. Uh, I think nature's the worst. I think it's really, really bad. Even though uh, web and uh, earth to mud might be really good now because of how easy it is to move around the map. I've always thought death is viable, but barely, and life is viable, but barely. We'll see how this goes. And uh, let's see here. I don't think wall of fire is any good. I think I do need... Oh, that's checked. I need fire elemental. I think warp wood is kind of good. I don't think hellhounds is very good because that's a... That's a world enchant, a world summoning spell. I don't think that's any good at all. Um, corruption's not very good either, though, because I will not be casting that ever. So maybe I, I don't think Wall of Fire's all that good, but I'm not gonna cast Hellhounds. So what are you gonna do? No uncommon spells for me, so be it. And we will be uh, the Dark Elves. They don't wear shoes, which seems fucked up. This, oh, I get a... Okay, so... I'm not sure if this was the case in the original game. But uh, we get a bunch of magic, which is really good. I'm still going to yellow flag. Um, yeah, so... The thing about Dark Elves that's not good are their unique units. Warlocks are definitely the best magical using because they get Doom Bolt instead of Fire Bolt. But it takes a long time to get there. Nightmares are kind of trash, and Night Blades as well are kind of trash. So we'll see how it goes. Let's kick this thing off. Here's Creepella. I love her little portrait there. She's doing some shit with her fingers there, which is a little disturbing. That's fine. And she's got a lot of, I think, creeping rot going on over there in the finger area. We'll, we'll uh, keep track of that as the game goes along. But yeah, should be a pretty slow going start. Even if someone else gets placed on Miram, I think they will. I think they're probably inherently won on Miram. I think it always was inherently won. Now it's just not always Shra. I think Shra was in every single game. There's a powerful node over there that I'm terrified of. Deathford is a great name for a starting city. 
And yeah, uh, so housing is obviously not the answer. And we're not going to do that. Um, Jeez. I, I don't know what to do at the beginning anymore. So Dark Elves are a little bit more useful at the beginning just because they have a ranged attack. But they're not that useful. Let's just build a library. And we'll revisit that. We only got one city, so may as well take that stride. We are once again not on the coast. I don't think it matters for Dark Elves because I don't think they can get a Merchant's Guild anyway. And money's clearly not the issue it once was. But yeah, I'm getting plus seven mana per turn. Which seems like more. I... I'm not 100 sure about that, but I think that's more. So we got a oh we got yeah we got a group of settlers and a, a swordsman to start out. There is unfortunately what a, we're at the very south part of the map, so that's tundra down there. No interest in visiting the tundra. We're gonna go wander off. I mean, honestly, can't go that. Well, we, we can go that way. It's gonna take a while. Pick research. Uh, it's probably nothing I want. Um, chimeras. It's gonna take 98 turns. Let's just learn to spell magic. All right, first turn. Didn't have to think about it too hard. Uh, we'll go this way. We have to see something new, and there's more hills, unfortunately. So I guess movement will be slow. Yeah. All right. That is. Uh, yeah. Oh, geez, that's a peninsula. There's a swamp. Oh my god, I'm not love. That's also the north coast, by the way. I am very not excited about this starting position. Uh, I doubt I've got any choices. Oh, well, we just we just take the magic spirit. Do we take the magic spirit? That's gonna be draining my mana. I'm not gonna be able to take a node forever. I suspect, look at this little fucker, by the way. This guy's making me deeply uncomfortable. Can I dismiss him and choose a new one? I guess I'm never choosing uh, this particular magician again. Oh, look at the choices. Uh, oh, I can, okay, I can sell their stuff. Okay, okay. Uh, gold's not that important. I'll take the 10 mana. There we go. That's nice. I didn't notice that was different because I hadn't seen it before. Okay, there's at least something over here and maybe some more stuff this way. Um, wow. But yeah, if I'm stuck all the way down here on the south part with no places to build, gonna, ha gonna have to, I have to settle on the, I have to settle on the coast. So at least I can get triremes and move my people to a better location. Let's take a peek over here. I would like to get these settlers somewhere. Oh no, there's another town here. That's not great. That is not good. Well, I don't see it. I mean, that's definitely more than four tiles away from my starting city. This is bad. This is very bad. Yep, there's a town somewhere right over here. I'm going to have to try to take it. I don't really have another choice. And there it is. It's Okay, it's one Beastmen Spearman. It's, of course, not on the coast. you got to be fucking shitting me. They don't love my odds. Um, I, I got some spells. I'm going to have to use them. Okay, well, off we go. There, there's no choice but to take this town. I could raise it, of course, so you can't go to... Can you go to negative uh, skill? I don't think you can. All right, so what we do first is we just kind of backpedal and fire off our ranged attack. Oh, wait. Yeah, all right. 30%. Oh, uh, nope. Nothing doing. Should be purple. Yeah, they're, they're not bothered by that. Okay. Why is the turn not automatically advancing, by the way? Can I shoot again? I don't think so. Gonna keep backpedaling and shooting, and it's not gonna be great, is my guess. Hey, we got a little something there, and they're beastmen. If I run into trolls and they have regeneration, it's not gonna be good, but they, they don't have one damage. They have an eight stack, of course, which is a problem. That's nothing again. I mean, I think my ram stack is one. It's, it's not good. <sighs> I'm not going to worry about my spell casting just yet. I will be casting a spell to try to win this thing. But I think I have eight shots, right? No, fourth is my last one. Okay. Yeah, did nothing. Wow. Okay. Maybe it's not the advantage I hoped it would be. What do we got here? I mean, I, I can summon a fire elemental, right? That'll win. Are you sure this isn't fine? That is how you win 
early fights is hey, it didn't do did it do anything? All right, it did one damage. Wow, that's an embarrassment. All right, it's a little bit better there. Fire elemental will win. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. But oof, didn't feel great. Well, yeah, good try, fellas. I don't think that's really gonna work out for you. There we go. That was like three, right? Three? No, only two. Fair enough. I mean, the fire elemental could probably be two standard units of beastmen. Early game is pretty good. I don't think it's, I don't think it's better than Phantom Warriors, honestly. All right, there we go. Yeah, rough time for them there. We finally got a four in there. All right, so I got a second city. Good job, fellas. I'm gonna keep it anyway. Diversify our holdings. Oh my. <gasps> It is right on the goddamn tundra, though. This is a disaster. Because you can see there's nothing there. This is a terrible starting position. Holy God. And I mean, they, they don't have... They only have three population. Ouch. This is really bad. Because there might not be another decent place at all. I might just settle on a bad place to settle, which is pretty harsh. I'm hoping there's still some more land over here, but I guess we're not going to find out for a little bit. I do not like this starting position. All right, it didn't get worse at least. There's still land. Excuse me. Still tundra though. Tundra is really, really bad. What's, what's the city's maximum population, by the way? 15, that's not that bad, it's fine. It's not on the water though. Ugh. Okay, moving more north. Okay, at least there's a little more land. That is good news. We did finish our library, so let's go build probably another unit. Because this town's completely undefended, so that's probably not ideal. Already at 20% unrest. Yeah, that tracks. I hate this start. It is super bad. Okay, there's a river and some iron, it looks like. I mean, that's a... Yeah, that'd be a great location for city, except it's not on the water. I need something on the water. Uh, clack on swordsman. We will reject that. Thanks for the offer, but no. Yeah. So we'll be looking right over here. It's probably, there's probably a spot right there. I had to cross a river there, so I didn't get all my movement. How is it? How is it? Is it okay? I can't build there. It's still within four. Okay. What about here? 19, 22. Okay. We'll be, we'll be moving here. And that's where we're going to found our second town. A little more water than I'd like, but it's on the water, and that's what I needed. Build outpost. Uh, we're going to just take a peek here. We're, oh, wait, I don't need more movement, do I? Okay, enter. All right, this is a decent amount of continent here. Um, this this town should be fine. 22 is always good. Hey, I learned to spell magic. Good for me. I did get a second uh, swordsman unit here. <laughs> There's no enemy. It doesn't take a look anyway. Yeah, two of Freet and a Gargoyle. That's not going to go well. Let's not do that. And I guess just summoning circle. We can't. I mean, I could plow it into chimeras. Chimeras would be really good because they can fly. But. Oh, I think I just moved the wrong. No, I moved both of them, which was not the plan. You go back. You live there now. All right. So we're going to scout out west, see, what, see what's over here. Got a spearman for death. For I think I'll probably build another spearman. Honestly, food is marginal, but I need to get this unrest down. Before well, that actually kept it uh, low enough that we keep producing. But one more spearman and then a sawmill because production production is always the answer. All right, you guys live there now. Yep. Yeah. You guys also live there now. I don't know if that's one that got some experience, but I mean, they're, they're, clearly my magical ranged attack's not really going to get the job done, so. We got some hills over here. Good enough. Hope those Afrit don't come out and get me because they will be able to massacre whoever I get for about, you know, 90 turns, so. We've met the West Coast. That's not ideal. But we're just exploring. Oh, well, there's a site. Look at it. Is that a... Iron and uh, something? Something? What is something? Iron. Oh, that's iron. That's gold. Oh, okay. Uh, can build there. And here. 
this one's actually better. So next objective is to build more settlers and to move in there. That works. Oh, that was like the end of the road. Oh, look, there's a terrifying magic node. Uh, I'm assuming that what I've heard is correct and the 27 is the magic power it gives. I'm also assuming that if it gives a lot of magic power, it's a nightmare. In order to claim it. I'm glad I noticed that. Did I? Wait a second. No, that's, that's my... That is not my starting city. Okay. You should be doing housing. Yeah, you're doing housing. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's already up to one, though. Is that true? Right. It's no longer an outpost. You'll love to see it. Down to here and here. I mean, there's nothing... There's not going to be anything good down here because... I thought that was something. This is sure. Uh, does Mithril still exist? Because Mithril is one of the biggest advantages that Mirren races had in the original. I'm not sure it exists anymore. Didn't see it last game, so it probably doesn't. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with that. But we got some land here that something could happen. Then it could be okay. There's more tundra. I don't care. That's the south end. Nothing? Uh, yeah. Wow. Three Doom Bats, two Chimeras, two Hellhounds, and a Fire Elemental. Yeah, I doubt that would go all that well for me. Just clearing off this fog of war. Clearing off that fog of war. There's still... I gotta go that way, I suppose. It's going to be a while before I can produce that next unit of settlers, but we've discovered everything down here at least, more or less. There's a little bit of haziness down here, but I think that's water. And it's also all time. Hey, I learned summoning circle. There is some unexplored stuff up there, so... <sighs> I don't know. All right. Uh, I don't care about Hellhounds. You know, Hellhounds could... I mean, I don't... I am not accustomed to summoning land units, except for the very best ones. So I don't really want to do it. But I can learn Fire Giant in 25. He is also a world spell, but I would at least consider casting that. I won't consider it. Hellhounds are just not strong enough to justify the cost. But yeah, you can see my magic is going up a lot. So Mirren Advantage is real. At least for, for uh, Dark Elves, because they have inherent mana generation. All right, so we've got some space. That's good news. 19, 18, so this one's still the best. Nope, this one's still the best. But maybe I should make it farther down here just so I can build more cities. Like, you, like this one's 20 plus 15% production. I think you just take this one, unless I really want to build something down there, which I don't think I really do. 14 is pretty bad. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, I could build there. Oof. I think you do have to think about uh, the distribution of your cities a little bit more in this one because you need a lot of them, it turns out. Is this buildable? Yeah, 9. Yeah, it's probably not. <laughs> 10, that's no better. 15. That would be acceptable, honestly. 15 is acceptable. One, two, three, four. So that would make me put it here. No, I'm not doing it. I think I'm going to sacrifice this and just live with what I get. Bunch of sites. I'm not even bothering to explore them because I'm not going to be able to take them. I will do a survey of them at some point. That point is not now. Oh, level up for the swordsman. Good stuff. All right, at least the landmass is not tiny, which is good. So there's Deathford. They've built their smithy or whatever. No, they built their sawmill. Uh, do we need the shrine? Not really. Let's build the marketplace and probably then the farmer's market. We'll see how, We'll see what it looks like after that. Early game min-maxing is fun and good. Uh, 50 city min-maxing is not that. He's going to clear off this fog of war as well. Good job, Spearman. Okay, there we go. I do want to build settlers, but I'm not ready. So that's 
One, two, three, four. So I could build there as well. Take a peek. It's probably pretty good, right? 18 is fine. And this is 18 is fine. But that's a big production difference. So I probably would take that one. Ooh, are we meeting a limit? There's another terrifying nature node that I want nothing to do with. All right, Spearman level up. Congratulations, Spearman. Yeah, these early game turns go fast. We're to turn 41 because I can't do much. That's a coast, huh? Oh, okay. But it did seem like the rate of things coming out of sites and nodes was really low. Didn't seem to be a slider. Um, yeah, we'll just keep here. I'm sure I'm not going to... Oh, 18 gold. Choices. I got choices on this? Uh, sure, I can do this one. And now I don't engage because Ifrit are terrifying. Still got my measly 18 gold. It's fine. Did that thing... Oh, it went away. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I, I've explored it fully. Theory of the Thief. <laughs> Look at her fucking resistance. Why does she have 30 resistance? That's insane. She's not good, though. But she's a hero. And her art's pretty cool. She looks like a nice classic thief. But she's just not good. Agility gives a uh, boost to armor. I guess she could become good. I'm going to hire her. She's not, she's not good. She can just chill in the capital for a while, honestly. We'll see if I ever remember to remove her. Deathford gets their market. And how's the unrest? The unrest is minimal. Okay, did it go down? Why? Farmer's market. And keep doing the... Oh, because theory is there. Duh, I'm stupid. But we got some good land that we can possibly settle on, which is good. Uh, I gotta maybe... May have to count this shit out. So one, two, one, two, three, four. That's too close, right? Yep. This is the closest. 18 plus six. 20 plus 15. I only need, well, since I can't build merchant guilds, uh, building, it doesn't, it doesn't require uh, the shipyard for bank, right? That's just for a merchant guild, right? I don't think I'm allowed to build a merchant guild anyway. I, I don't, I'm not sure I'm allowed to build a bank, uh, but banks are good, but money's not that important. So this is probably a site then. One, two, three, four. Oh, we're up in the mountains, of course we are. And that is basically the extent of the continent. I've explored my home continent. It's pretty small, but I can fit a few more cities and no one's gonna bother me. So that's nice. Yeah, that's it. That is it. Okay, it's going to be a long time before I can conquer any of these sites, I'd imagine. Um, but I will check them out. I don't know that one. I don't know that one. Okay, so let's get down there. Check these out. See how terrifying they are. Some of them might be free gold or whatever. Two uh, zombies. And yeah, we can't take down zombies. It's Well... Can we take down zombies? Can a fire elemental defeat two zombies? Like, I don't really care if I lose these swordsmen. I wouldn't, I don't want to. But at the same time, I'm not convinced these guys can beat a fire elemental. Guess we'll find out the hard way. And I think that, oh no, it does. The range stack is now two. That's... Not amazing, but it's twice as good. Let's not deny that. Hey, look at that. Got it. one damage in. Make it purple. Please. I'm certainly not going to be able to live without the fire elemental, so let's just summon it. We'll keep it close because there's no rush. I do feel like a fire elemental can beat zombies. Am I crazy? That's zero. <laughs> Oh no, it was one. Twice the chances, uh, twice the success, hypothetically. And I, I am not Warlord this time, so all my troops stink. That's just how shit works. You still got one more after this, right? That was only your... Yeah, that's right, okay. So may as well uh, keep poking away. One? One? No, all right, well, 
I feel like my opponents in the first game. Like, hey, this is something to fire on. Like, what, what the hell else am I going to do? Nothing. Man, that raise attack is not getting the job done. Was it better in the original? Oh, boy. Okay. That was really bad. Let's just try to defend and see if... The, see if there's a defender advantage. I don't think... Okay, that's a little bit better. That first... Two damage to us. Uh, one damage to them. That's not... Oh, three damage to them. It's fine. It's not good, but it's fine. And I can't summon another one. I only have... Oh, my God. I'm doomed. That was a disaster. Okay. I'll try to run away, because this is not going to work. I don't think running away is going to work either, but it must be tried. <gasps> we got away. All right. I, I, we take those. Just lost 42 fucking mana, but okay. All right, fire elementals, elementals, I don't know how to pronounce that word, are not good, which I already knew. This is just, just purely exploratory. They've got a bunch of skeleton, 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 zombie, zombies, yeah, and a uh, ghoul. I mean, a pretty, pretty not good stack, but <laughs> you can't really win that with one swordsman. But what is nice, I'm getting plus 12 man mana per turn. Maybe I should rebalance things. Is that true? I mean, I never know what to do because I want to research. I, I want to build my power and I want more mana. So I, <laughs> I wasn't sure if you should change that in the old game. I'm not sure if she ever changed it now. Not a lot. Oh, well, that's bad. And I can't. Those are pixies. Right? Yeah. One unit of pixies I should be able to beat with with a... It's not like these guys are getting back anytime soon. Uh, I should be able to beat them with a fire elemental. One hopes. Two fire elementals. I can only summon one, so let's not take that on. I'm going to get attacked here. and I'm Somewhere. Fire giant. I think I am going to summon a fire giant if I can. Because, I don't know, things are pretty, pretty bad for the good guys here. It's going to cost me a lot, though, if I want to do that. Volcanoes give you magic power, right? But no food or minerals, you know. Does it, by minerals, they mean production or they mean minerals? Because, I don't know. And it's only one mana. And it costs how much to cast? 170 for one mana. How does that ever net out positive? You gotta go 170 turns before you break even? Is that how it always was? Probably. But that kind of seems bad. Alright, so I guess I'm going to attack... Oh, these, oh, I don't have anybody here, do I? Um, fuck. I gotta just buy a Beastman, I suppose. The unrest is insane. That's most of my money, but I need to actually defend my city because it looks like they're coming for us. I guess I could have waited one more turn, but I don't think it would have made a big difference. Let's see what's in here. Something I can't fight, I'm sure. Three Chimera, two Pixies. Yeah, that's real bad. Alright, they do have... They need to build... They got... I, I was a little slow on the update. I'm supposed to be micromanaging my three lousy cities, and I didn't do so. Uh, it's going to take ten turns, but what can you do? I'm not buying them. We'll get the unrest. It's at 35%. We'll get the unrest down slightly. Holy God, it's going to be hard to build anything in this city. I think I just moved my swordsman over there after I check out whatever the hell that is. It's going to be a bit of a walk regardless, though. I got plenty of food, though. So I can at least move one of them to production if I want in the Beastmen City. We build the shrine, right? We build... I mean, what do we want? Beastmen Cavalry? Or, sorry, Dark Elf Cavalry? Not really. Dark Elf Halberdiers are literally the best I can do soon, but and the shrine's not necessary. The unrest is plenty reasonable. That being said, we focus on the capital. We build the shrine. Still can do one more. Six turn shrine's not that bad. They've backed off because I built the beastmen, so they're going to attack here. I still can't get these guys back, but... We know what that is, yep. Alright, we got a little fight on our hands, and uh, hopefully our fire elemental can beat a group of pixies. Cause... Oh. 
What if I don't do this? Okay, you like it a little bit less. But I don't really care if we get hurt, but if they die, we lose the fight. We will win the battle. They can't be killed if we win the battle. This just seems like cheesing it anyway, though, so let's just do it myself. I could just cast, like, Firebolt. I, I know Firebolt, right? But let's cast a spell. I know Firebolt. I could cast a full power Firebolt. I have lots of mana. Or I could just summon this guy. I want to cast the Firebolt. I don't, don't necessarily know that it's the right move. 25 damage is a lot. I mean, they have four hit points. So let's let's maybe be a little more strategic rather than just uh, spending everything. What's your resistance, fellas? Their resistance is eight. That's not nothing. It's nothing to scoff at. Nothing to scoff at. Um, they are four figures, one life apiece. So four damage is all I need to do. Um, versus eighty percent. Okay, so I guess I. I'm not well. Well, I can't do my attack and then spell, I don't think. Even though it might have changed. This is the first time I've played since the update. And it doesn't seem to automatically end your turn anymore. So let's find out the hard way. Hey, got two hits. Maybe I'll just... No, one hit. No, two. Okay, I'm just going to do nothing. Let's save our magic if possible. <laughs> Even though it's piling up. But yeah, your turn doesn't automatically end anymore uh, after you do your, your, your unit movement, which is really good. That's a good change. Anyway, we're fine. You got me. Dude, we, get, we got one. What a this is gonna be a, a fantastic victory for the good guys. You got another one of us. Ouch! All right, my chances are getting worse, and we didn't get them. But they have to come attack me. They have. I, I believe we each have one more ranged attack. Man, they they don't miss. I, I do miss, but there's still a chance with their resistance. It's pretty unlikely, honestly. They got one more attack. Their attack's only two, by the way. Mine's four. Surely we can win this. It's an unnecessary risk. None would deny this. Let's just move forward and get this over with. But I'm taking the unnecessary risk. I don't care. I deserve one fame for that. For sticking it out without casting any magic, even though I have... A absolute surplus of it, but you know, I'm stingy. Are these orange ones more powerful? I never figured that out. Let's see what's in here. Three fire elementals, not that bad, but also I'm not doing it. Right, and uh, so this video is coming to me. I probably should get back here and look at this trash, even though it's it's trash. There's no way that there's anything good down there. I should consider doing settlers again soon. So let's let's get to the next turn where my production changes. Level up for these fellas. We're gonna go check this out. Before I go check out what the other things are. I'm not gonna bother with that too. Let's see. Oh, I learned corruption. Good, I don't have to, I don't have to research it. I'm not gonna cast it, but. I guess I should check that one out as well. And my production did end here. So there's the shrine. Shrine's built, 0% unrest, lots of production. It's a it's a very productive city, um, and I'm gonna do the settlers. It's gonna take nine turns, but we need to start these other cities soon. All right, and that will be it for the video. Thanks for watching. Uh, not a bad start. I got a hero who has insanely high resistance, and someday we'll have pretty high defense as well. That day is not today. Um, I didn't. I, I took a city. I took a city. No one can deny that I took a city. It's okay. I'm not thrilled with the landmass I'm on, but there's at least no other wizards on it. Uh, it's just gonna be a long time until I get a decent unit, because I mean, I can build some halberdiers after I build an armory. That's all I can do, right? The magic growth for dark elves is insane, though. So that's an advantage that you can press, not right now, um, but later. The way to press it now is maybe to work more on magic skill and to get more fire elementals to beat their fire elementals. That doesn't seem great. Maybe you summon the fire giant and just go rampaging? He's only got two ranged attacks. So I think you got to realize about the fire giant. He's terrifying for two turns, and then he's whatever, and you're draining your mana all the while. So I'll think about that before the next video. I don't think that's the way I'm going to lean. But it's a pretty good early game spell. I could at least beat those... Uh, 
Were they zombies? Yeah, they weren't ghouls. They were zombies. They messed me up, but I, I'm very lucky the flea worked as well. But it did work, and I'm out. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed this series. Thanks for watching the first one. And uh, I'll be back soon with more Master of Magic. Cheers, guys. Later.